Well, good morning, good morning there, ladies and gentlemen. What do you say there, boy? We're gonna have us a good time today at the show. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna interview all kinds of people. Probably. Give all kinds of cards out, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you forget the cards? No, we have No, them. no, we still have lots of cards in the bag. Yeah. So today is day two for the actual truck show. We're gonna go down and uh, see what more goodies we can uh, show the people today and uh, see what we can see too, right? Yeah. So let's get to it. All right, guys, here is another classic truck, high tech turbo. That's what it looks like. Another great classic, classic truck. And we actually do have an engine over here. So let's take a look. Uh, let's see, a Volvo D13, 500 horsepower. Oh, it's actually for sale. 12,500 bucks. Yeah, it's a used one though. You can definitely tell it's got some rust and stuff like that on it. But uh, yeah, so that's what an actual Volvo engine looks like out of the body. So you guys can see for those of you that have never seen a Volvo engine, or an engine itself just by itself there you have it all right and here we got a Cummins ISX Cummins ISX 450 horsepower nine thousand five hundred dollars looks like a used engine as well no this is pretty much exactly like my engine except mine is a 400 horsepower originally so this is pretty much what mine looks like except mine doesn't have a black top mine has a red top as well but that's usually where the clutch is all that yeah, so this is where where the turbo is. I don't know what year this is though, but uh, yeah, that's definitely a Cummins engine for those of you that uh, have never actually seen one outside the box. Yeah, definitely. The Loves also do have a race car, stock car, I believe, NASCAR race, right? Or is it not NASCAR? That is NASCAR. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. We should go stand over there and get in the video. Don't you think? That'd be cool. Look at the shiny stuff that they got in the paint. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got all kinds of shiny stuff in the actual paint, eh? That yeah. looks cool, eh? Wow. Look at that, guys. That is low off the ground, isn't it? That is super, super cool. Look at them tires, how they're offset. So that way they can go around the corners really fast, eh? Wow. Now this doesn't look like a real car though. This just looks like a display car because uh, it doesn't have the opening for the fueling and all that. It's all closed yeah, on up. The other side. Yeah. No, it was over there, but it's all closed. Wow, let's take a look inside. If you guys can see. <laughs> yeah that looks cool well guys there's another peat for the uh, peat lovers that love the peat i don't know about this color some of you might really like this color but uh i think it looks good it's probably one of the older older style colors but it's absolutely uh well, stunning cool. the windows yeah, oh wow cool. look at that i didn't even notice that look at that guys that's a weird window a weird shaped window isn't it Diamond I shape. think so. <laughs> Diamond shape. Wow, look at that stainless steel from the back. You guys can probably see each other. Look at that. <laughs> Me holding the camera in there. Yeah, can you can see that? <laughs> That's cool. You can actually see yourself in there. Yeah, it's got the. Wow, the, you can't even see the wheel log nuts. Look at that. That is so cool. I've never seen that kind of cover before. Wow, that's just awesome, man. Now, for those of you guys that are into oversize, they actually do have uh, oversized flatbeds up here. So I hope you guys can see that. That's a drop bed, and they got this really, really big uh, wheels that you can lift up here in the back. So that way, uh, when you don't need the uh, wheels in the back, you can actually lift up this whole system here in the back, and you can drop it down. You can see it, it's up here. It's totally up in hinges, electro electrolic, 
uh, I can't even say it right, uh, hydraulic system. And you can lift that whole thing down back into there. And so that way you're not dragging it. All right, guys, we are here at the Mid-America Truck Show and we are here with? Nora. Nora. And can you tell us a little bit about this truck? This is an international CXT. We call him Big Al. Oh, nice, nice. And he's our mobile advertising. We drive all over the country to shows, parades, and different events okay. just to promote our company. What would be the purpose for a truck like this? For us, it's truly promotional. That's okay. It. So this one is specially designed just for... Right, we bought it without any of the fancy stuff you okay. see right now. We've okay. added a lot to it over the years. We've been driving it around for about 11 years now. Wow. International nice. only made 500 of them. Okay. And so we're the proud owner of one. Nice, nice. And uh, I am from South America myself. And so we are used to seeing the big lights on trucks like that. So that's something that interests me right away. And, and that stands out. It's beautiful to me. Hey, you just see the side of the truck. Yes. Move all the lights yes. The we steps will. We will get around, and uh, she said we can get in here. And absolutely. We'll, we'll show the inside a little yes. bit. Yes, that's absolutely a gorgeous truck, man. <laughs> yes. Look at the back here. Yes, that is absolutely gorgeous, guys. And we will climb inside, and we'll uh, we'll show you inside a little bit, and. Uh, We'll have a look, see what it looks like from the inside. Wow, look at that, eh? Yeah, nice. Yeah. Hey guys, look at this. They got a big screen in here. Man, I would love that. <laughs> nice radio. They got flashing lights everywhere. Wow, look at that. Even the American flags is in there. Wow, guys, for those of you that like CB radios, they got a CB in here. That's very cool. Wow, nice, eh? Nice, comfortable seats. Anyways, we'll go check out more things. Now, guys, we can't go without showing you a beautiful Kenwood. I am a big Kenwood fan. Yes, indeed, I am. So let's take a look. Look at how tall this hood is. Man, that is super tall. I'm usually used to driving the Volvo, and the Volvo is not even nearly that big. Man, that's a beautiful paint job on it too, right? Look at that, they got the military uh, type of uh, US flag on here. Man, that is an absolutely beautiful oh, paint wolves. job, eh? Wolves, look at that. Man, that is absolutely fantastic. Wow, yeah, that's a beautiful Kenworth. Now, for those of you that have been around for a little while, like JP and some of the other guys, you might remember an auto car. Who remembers an auto car? Not me. I've never seen an auto car before. Auto car diesel, that's what they're calling this one, right? Let's take a look. This has got to be one of the oldest model trucks probably in a long time, eh? Yeah, it must be. <laughs> yeah, Howard Trucking Bureau from Ohio. And I wanted to show you guys this this uh, fire exchanger. That must be one of the old kinds of fire exchanger. Look at the interior, guys. Oh yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. Look at that uh, two shifter, two gear shifters. Oh yeah, man. Look at that. Even auto car on the side there too, eh? Let's take a look at the back here. It says diesel only. Yeah. They still do have two stocks on it, but oh, they even got a little model car over there, eh? Yeah, look at that. He had one created to replicate this truck. Yep. Yeah, this is more of a show truck, I guess. It's designed for a show, right? I don't think that they actually drive this truck down the road for any kind of use other than just for the show. Now this is one of the old classic Mack trucks. I think it must be one of the first ones that they, well, I don't know, I wouldn't say the first ones, but uh, one of the ones that they built and uh, restored it looks like. And uh, let's take a look at it. I really like that uh, dog on there, you know? Like the way they got that dog on there. That's pretty cool, I think. Let's take a look inside what they got inside. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that's pretty cool. They even got two dogs there on the shifters. 
and they got like a hand brake it almost looks like I don't know what exactly that is but wow it's even got a weird smell to it I like these uh, train horns let's take a look yeah they even painted them red from the inside look at that guys that's absolutely beautiful yep they made everything to match up and right here beside them they got the neighbor neighbor mag truck yeah let's have a look it's in a green paint color this is the b61 mac yeah oh look at that they got an ontario plate did you guys see that they got ontario plate so they must be out of ontario canada wow that must have been a long drive down here i don't think that they're driven down here but i'm sure they uh transported it on a track for trailer probably it's a uh, 1964 yeah it says 15 speed on there that's a weird uh, combination <laughs> let's take a look inside yeah it's got two gear shifters as well yeah look at that you got two gear shifters look at that them two dogs right there that's cool they even got a cb in there nice hey guys i'm the passenger in this mobile tell them about it uh, you're the driver today uh sort of sort of yeah what we're sitting in uh a plastic see-through truck with metal steel beams or whatever yeah looks like aluminum uh, yeah it looks like a, just a body built out of uh aluminum or whatever yeah it doesn't that's cool yeah, look at that they got them lights changing colors that's pretty cool a good view from up here yeah. don't you think oh yeah, awesome we're having uh, fun right all right guys so we're gonna go get into a volvo with a big cab on it yep let's take a look at what a volvo would look like if we got a uh, big cab big sleeper on it legend sleeper that's what they call it man that that's a big sleeper eh we'll wait a little bit till more people come out now we'll get in we'll show you a little bit what the Volvo looks like from the inside all right let's go inside here let's check this baby out yeah wow it's got a fan up there that's pretty much is what you have yeah let's see it's exactly what you have that's yeah. This. This yeah they're on the bottom it don't have that, no, you don't have that. sit that's down it. yeah looks just like mine except mine doesn't have these buttons on here either yeah that's for phone calls yeah see mine doesn't have the spike yeah, yeah. he doesn't have any of these he just has these two yeah don't press any of them but this looks just like my truck yeah. from the inside a little bit mine has got this cup holder and everything like that too yeah, but it's got like a heating there in the windshield itself too eh? you see that oh, and stripes yeah. in there yeah that is cool look at these uh, custom drawers that they got up here yeah they look a little different though there must be a smaller cab here in the front compared to mine it feels a little tighter in here but let's take a look around to the back here let's see what we got Hope you guys don't mind. Yeah, so that's how I look. Um, look at them LED lights there on the top. You see that? Mm -hmm. That's how I look at the shower. This one's a little different. This one has a yeah. button and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Ah, this one actually has a mirror. Yeah. The other ones usually don't have a mirror. Yeah. So you got a nice shower up here. You can see ourselves in here. Yeah but that's a nice spacious spacious cab man all right we are inside a Kenworth right now and this sleeper is a little different it's got the entrance here from the back as you guys can see and it's got the bed here on the side instead of having it in the back like a lot of these other ones had it so it's a little different setup and even in here as well it's a little different uh, different design they got the TV right there. They got a DVD player and all that up here. Little stove. Very nice. The yeah, shower is pretty much exactly the same, it looks like. Yeah, that's probably an automatic. Yeah. 
shower is the exact same thing. But yeah, that's what a Kenwood looks for you. Yeah, Kenwood is always different. I like the, the way they got this design though. I just wouldn't like the automatic. But other than that, let's climb out here. And let's take a look at this bad boy from the outside. Yeah. Ooh, what are you doing? Yeah, let's take a look at this Kenwood from the outside. It's nice, nice color. Just a regular uh, front end, like you would see on a Kenwood normally. But uh, the cab is very nice. Now, if you guys like trailers and you're hauling like uh, feed and stuff like that, you get all kinds of trailers up here as well. Very nice trailers, all shined up, eh? Yep. What do we got up here? International. Wow, let's look at this. I like the white color like that. I think that looks fantastic. I think that's a nice white color. I know my buddy Barry drives one like this. Now, if you guys have never seen an axle, this is what an axle looks like for the steering. And they got the rear transmit, the, the rear stuff right here. So you can actually see the gears in here a little bit. This is what it actually looks like inside of the rear axle pretty much and then you got the uh, all the way back one here so you can actually see the gears oh wow, that's interesting that's nice to see and these are the slack adjusters that I had replaced there the other day got the brakes right here brake pads that's cool to see definitely interesting let's check this out this is how they do polishing up here I hope the camera is going to be able to see it, but yeah, that's a computerized uh, computerized machine there. Let's see if that was going to do what it's supposed to be doing. Yeah, look at that. It's going to take some of that stuff off of there, and then I guess it's going to sharpen it or whatever, and then going to start polishing it oh wow, that's let's check that out oh wow. yeah he's doing it there from the other side see now it's starting I'm going to start polishing it <laughs> just making it sway slowly towards yeah the... wow that's cool now that's how they're going to be polishing this wheel Slowly touching it. Slowly. Yeah. Anyways, we'll get out of here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got tired of standing over there at the truck show or walking around and all that, so we were getting hungry too, right? Yeah. I was so, hungry. so what are we doing now? Uh, we're cooking barbecue and some potatoes. Let's take a look. Voila! Yeah, that is starting to look really, really good. Yes, I think so. And there's a helicopter flying around or above the uh, actual truck show there. And uh, see. we're going to be eating here pretty soon. We ain't cooking for a good while. We recorded actually a clip earlier and I just realized that my microphone was actually turned off. So uh, we had to redo it, I guess. Uh, that's the way it goes with microphones, I guess, if they're turned off no luck there right but uh, anyways we're gonna get us to have a good bite to eat here pretty soon and then we'll go back to the truck show there's somebody that would like to meet up with me so uh, let's get to it hey guys we're here at the truck show and we have finally met up with a subscriber of mine so nice meeting with you yeah, sir yeah. and uh, we had to do a little bit digging to find him but <laughs> so what you up to not much just hanging out the show and Having a good time. Having a good time? Yeah. You're, you live around this area? I live up in Ohio, yeah. Oh, About okay. About hours. Oh, okay, wow. You drove all the way down here to, to the show? Yep, yep. Wow, nice. What was your purpose to come to the show? Just see all the trucks and all yeah. the vendors. And... Are you a driver as well? Yeah. Yep. Yeah? Yep. Not nice. Experience. You got your family all over here too? or? No, just... Just a little one? Yeah. Little <laughs> camera shot? <laughs> Yeah, so she's not camera shy. She was on Little Guy today. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I met up with him yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got that video coming up, uh, obviously later. But yeah. he's already got his uh, video released where he had me in it, and obviously my son. And yeah. So yeah, so it's cool. I mean, nice, uh, nice to be able to run into a subscriber of mine. You know, yeah. I didn't think that was actually going to happen, but now we do have that happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, starting to get a lot of subscribers. You know, then you start to get more and more people that recognize you you know mm -hmm. and uh, I know a little guy trucker and then they were not subscribed to me but they are subscribed now and oh, okay. so that's nice so whereabouts do you normally drive at I'm local now I'm home every day oh I, nice I used to be over over the road I used to run the west coast but oh, okay now, now I'm home every day nice 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 that's cool you going back today yet or yeah, I'm going back home today. Oh, nice. Boss couldn't give me a load. I was going to get a load coming down. Okay. And uh, park at Papa John's and hang out all weekend, but... Didn't happen. Didn't work out. There was no load, so... Okay. Yeah, we got us a reload already, too, so... Uh, but anyways, we'll uh, close her here for now, and then we'll do some more shutting off camera. No show that I would do is ever complete without Ring of Fire, so I had to throw that on the album. Sorry, Mr. Sound Guy. Didn't mean to do that to you, either. Love is a burning thing It makes a fiery ring Bound by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire I fell into a burning ring of fire Went down, down, down and the flames went higher It burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire Let's get some more people over here I fell into a Went down, 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 and the flames went higher. It burns, 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 the rig of fire, the rig of fire. The taste of love is sweet.